I'm here in my balcony to water my plants. Uh, this is the south balcony, so I get sunlight from morning until evening. Actually, the best time to water your plants is early in the morning or in the evening. Today, let me share with you the kind of natural fertilizers that I use for my plants. After watching this video full, please don't forget to comment below your method of fertilizing plants. Also, towards the end of the video, I have raised a query on my cactus plant. Please try to answer that as well. I apply sun dried compost on so top of the soil as mulch. Applying this way to the plant base makes sure they act as a slow release fertilizer for the plants. Here I have taken a container like this. This is a 1 kg yogurt container and into which I add 2-3 uh, banana peels and fill it with water. You can add more pills if you have. Keep it closed for 3 days. So after 2-3 days, this is an excellent fertilizer for your plants. I dilute it with many times water and use it for watering the plants. And I fill it with water and next day I will use it again for watering the plants. Crushing the eggshells and applying it to the plant base will take care of the calcium requirement of the plant. You could also uh, grind it to powder form in your mixer uh, to make the absorption faster. The water used for soaking and washing the uh, dal, rice, uh, vegetables are used for watering the plants. This is the water I collected after soaking the moong dal. This is excellent source of uh, nutrient for the plants. What I do every day is collect all the water used to soak and rinse the uh, rice pulses and vegetables in a bucket like this and at the end of the day I dilute it with many times water and use it for watering my plants. If you keep this water overnight uh, you should add more water as fermenting might make it more stronger for the plants to handle. This is rice soap which is the water we get by draining the cooked rice. As it is a staple food in India, we get rice soup every day. This can be used for watering the plants after diluting it with water or it can be fermented by keeping it for a day and dilute it with water and can be used as a spray onto the plant leaves to keep it healthy. Washed tea leaves are excellent source of nitrogen for the plants. I wash tea leaves after making tea and and just spread it on top of the soil like this. I don't bury it. You can use coffee grounds as well. Since we are tea lovers, I use tea leaves only. Many people sun dry it before applying to the plants, but I prefer doing this this method. I don't do much uh, to prevent diseases on my plants. Um, a, a healthy plant should be immune from all the diseases. But still I use uh, neem spray on my plants uh, once in a week. 
I make this by mixing um, 5 ml of neem oil into uh, 1 liter of water. The instruction given is to always add um, water to the neem oil and not uh, neem oil to the water. These are my tomatoes. Last time also I have sown a lot of seeds but um, I got only the spinach. I got lots of spinach last time. Only spinach. All the other plants died. I, I don't know why. But this time I think uh, I'll get tomatoes as well as spinach. This is my cactus in my another balcony but I don't know it stopped growing it was uh, growing as a healthy plant but I don't know what happened it has got patches all over I don't know if it is a healthy sign or not if someone knows the remedy please comment below So um, thank you so much for watching and see you until I come up with my next video.